What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Life I Live Now with Pastor Anthony. Today I have Sarah and Kevin, and they are back from their trip. They are back from back to back. studying abroad. Stay <clears> tuned. <throat> Explain what study abroad. It is not a missions trip from what they're telling me. <laughs> well, we didn't just study abroad either. So our program is like a mixture between the two. It's not missions and it's not studying abroad necessarily. It's like, think of it as like graduate research overseas. Graduate so like, research overseas, like graduate research of what? Um, each person like had their own research topic. Yeah. So like, Kevin, what was your topic? Uh, I studied the development of children's spirituality <clears throat> in preschool programs. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Which was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. You? Mm -hmm. I studied Afro-Colombians and the their the effects of the armed conflict in Colombia that's lasted 50, over 50 years um, and their inclusion or exclusion which is the results of my research the exclusion from the peace process so when did it feel like it just got real like when you got off the plane or when you were actually trying to have a conversation with somebody or um, or like trying question. to ask for directions what what when did it first like you're you like I am going to suffocate right now uh -huh. kind of feeling. When did that really happen? When did that happen? So for me, it was the first night. So landed in Manila Airport. And as soon as I stepped out the doors, 100% humidity was like instantly moist. <laughs> and in my head, I was like, wait, it's not like this all the time, is it? It's like that all the time. <laughs> 24-7, 85 degrees, 100% humidity every oh my day. Gosh. And so, you know, I was like, I, I was in this airport by myself and I was trying to find like the people who were there to fetch me. And I was like, I don't know where to go. Like, I don't even speak the language. So I'm gonna like just start wandering around. And uh, I found them, which was great. And then the Manila's fav famous traffic, it took us three hours. Oh yeah. Three hours to get home or to get to the, or the like missionary home we're staying in. <clears throat> but that night, I remember, I like skyped with my mom and like was bawling my eyes out. Really? I can't believe I'm here. I want to go home. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. And then I remember just being like jet lagged out of my mind, like four in the morning. I'm like wide awake. And uh, is that what you were texting me? Yeah. Probably. And there was like a a, a gnarly typhoon passing through at the time, Ooh. so it was just like pouring rain. And I was like, what's happening? It's hot rain. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> And I just remember like laying in bed, just like, this is my life for the next four months. <laughs> like, wow, let's go. And then I got off the plane and I met with the people that were picking me up, the site facilitator, and he spoke to me all in English. And I was upset because I was like, I know that no one else is going to speak English. And it was confusing me. Like, is everyone going to speak English to me? I don't know. And then when I was at their house, their sister came over the next day and she's like filthy rich. I hope he doesn't see this. She's filthy rich and like very, they call them pompies. They're like, pompies means like your butt. It's like to call people who are like, just like super, like super upper class. Bougie, bougie exactly. Bougie. So they were pompies and they, they were like, as we ate at the, as we ate at the table, they used a fork and a knife to cut, oh. and like they had two forks and a spoon and a knife. Everything was very formal, and I just felt insecure because I don't come from that kind of a background. And so they only spoke to me in Spanish, and I think that was the moment when I was like, they, I don't know what to say. I said the wrong word for eggs. I said it with an A, which means another explicit term, a not appropriate term. It's not, it's not. Huevos? Mm, say it with an A at the end. Huevas? Okay. That means... Oh, something else? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I said it. that and everyone was laughing and I was embarrassed. <laughs> and then I think at that moment I was like, 
oh my gosh, I cried for like the next two days because I felt so incapable. Because of the language like, barrier? Yeah, because of the language barrier, because I didn't know, I felt unprepared. Next question. Uh, did you two go to church out there? Yes. yes. Was that required? No. No. Oh wow, okay. So what is their church like in Colombia and in Philippines? What's the, what is the, is it more, okay, just, just go ahead. Tell me, after going to our church or any, any other church, well, how is it different? Yeah, so, um, Philippines is like 90% Catholic, <clears throat> but there's a growing, uh, like, Protestant, kind of evangelical, like, movement right now, so, I went to mostly, well, I only went to like evangelical churches. Yeah, but they were, uh, they were surprisingly Americanized, you can say. Really? Um, Their yeah, songs? they did like Hillsong and like... The newer ones? Yeah, well not the new. I don't Break know. Break Every Chain? G uh, Jesus Culture and like Planet <laughs> Shakers. Like, oh, okay. They're all about that. Um, you can kind of see it though in like, just like subtle things. So like, the first church I went to... And it's spoken know, in... Uh, Toglish, so it's like oh. Filipino Tagalog. Toglish, I never even heard that's that. Like, yeah, that's like the. Oh, I mean, the I keep going over language. here. Toglish. Yeah, Filipino Tagalog. Um, I mean, uh, Tagalog English. But uh, yeah, so they would preach in Toglish. Um, the songs would be in English, but you could really notice in like subtle things, like the time that they start. So, you know, a more Filipino church wouldn't start for like 45 minutes after the start time. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd get the, you know, church would start at 8 a.m., but at 8 a.m. is like the setup time. You know, you get there and like the band is still setting up and it's like the preacher isn't there yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. hence Filipino time. Um, and then I went to this really like hyper evangelical like Western church with my host brother. And that was like, it was weird. It was like, well, not weird, but it was just, it felt like home, I guess. Um, they started like right on time and it was like worship ended like 15 minutes and that's all you got and then they did like their whole like someone would pray during worship and like speak in tongues and stuff so it was, it was pretty cool um, so yeah that's what that was my experience of church how's Colombia church in Colombia yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you have like your westernized churches, which are like mega churches, which are very few. There's like few mega churches, especially in the city where I was, the second city I was in. But I went to two different churches. The first church was amazing. They were probably the most like open community church that I've ever been to in my life. They like would meet four times a week, I think. Like on weeknights, they would meet and they would just talk about life. Like, I remember one of my first, I think it was my first service, a lady went up to the front and they were telling testimonies and she literally was just like, my husband just cheated on me. And she just started just real. bawling. She started bawling and she was like, and I don't know what to do. And everyone got around her and prayed for her and loved her and just gave her like words of, of like, uh, like affirmation, like nothing's wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. Like you are perfect. Was nothing that a Pentecostal church? Um, it's they're a denomination that only exists in Colombia. They're technically there's somewhere on the Pentecostal spectrum, but they teach a lot of word. Like they're very big on the word, more than maybe a far Pentecostal would be. So, yeah, they're they're pretty conservative though. They don't dance. They don't drink. They don't do a lot of things like that. But man, these people are so real, so, so, so real. So um, getting to see that was great. They danced in church. The second church was a little bit more calm and they did more hill song. Um, but they do a lot of like, the songs they do, you can tell they're Colombian style. They're like, bunk -dum, bunk -dum, bunk -dum. the beat is, yeah. one of the things I notice is they clap, they clap on the opposite beat that we do. Oh, I think we yeah. clap on three and, three and, no, one and three. Or we clap on two and four, whatever. They clap on the opposite beat. So everyone was like, I was off beat the whole time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or were they that's off? First. Or were they, or were they off, off beat? Yeah. Ah. But it was, I liked both of the churches. It kind of gave me life, like during the week. I was excited to go to church all the time. So. Oh. Cool. Yeah. You were excited? Yeah. You, better be. you really simple question. What is your favorite meal 
Mm -hmm. uh, and it has, don't pick no American one, like it has to be, you know, I miss this, a real <laughs> Colombian and a real uh, mm. Filipino, what was your favorite? Oh, that's hard. Does it have to be like a legit meal or can it be like a, a treat, like a snack? Just make it whatever, you, just whatever. Whatever. Okay, yeah, it can be your favorite. Don't pick one. Just spin them out. Yeah, okay, there you go. Okay, because one of my favorite. Like you have to explain. You can't just tell me what it is. You have to explain oh, yeah, what it is. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Philippines has this thing, right? Which I love. Which I need to like somehow incorporate into my life. It's called uh, merienda. You know what that is, right? You know? Okay. So <laughs> Medi America. merienda is like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> merienda is like the in-between meal. So you have your breakfast, oh, merienda, okay. lunch, merienda, dinner, right? So yes, you eat like Lord. you eat like yes, five Lord. or six times a day, right? But your meals are smaller, aren't they? Yeah. Like your I regular mean, meals. Yeah, okay. yeah, they would be. Um, boys got to learn how to share, you know, which was hard. Oh, no. <laughs> um, but uh, so for merienda, I would love to get these things called banana cue. You probably know what they are. You have to explain it. Banana cue, right? So it's like banana that are chopped up into like little bits and it's like fried and caramelized and it has like a lot of brown mm. sugar on it. It's so, not a toron? No, it's not toron. Okay. It's called banana cue. It is amazing. <coughs> um, so that was one of my favorite snacks. And then <clears throat> one of my favorite meals was uh, sinigang, actually, which is like this sour kind of like soup. It had like a lot of vegetables. Pork? You it could be pork, pork or? or it could be fish. What did you eat over there? Um, a lot of pork. Okay. We rarely had fish. Okay. Um, yeah, but that was hands down one of my favorite. Which was weird because you would think hot soup in like a, you know, an environment where it's always 85 degrees and sticky, like it wouldn't work. But it worked. So it's doing something right. I hydrated you. <laughs> yeah. We also ate a lot of soup. It was hot, so we ate soup and it worked. Sometimes it didn't work and I would sweat mm -hmm. a lot. I always sweat. I love mandongo, which is like kind of like menudo. No, someone was gonna someone's gonna see this and kill me for saying that. It's not like menudo. It's they cook mondongo is a part of like it's not in I don't think it's intestines, but it's something like that. So they make that in a broth. It's so good. I don't know. They put a bunch of different stuff. I love sancocho, which is like pretty popular in all Latin American countries. They put like plantain, they put potato, they put yuca, they put, um, depending on like what kind of sancocho, they have chicken sancocho, which I like, or some sancocho de gallina, which is like with, um, with a rooster? I think a guy didn't know as a rooster. As far as snacks, I really miss cholada, which is like a raspado with fruits in it, and then they put lechera. They put lechera, and then they so put, bomb. and then they put, they put lulu, which is like their classic Colombian fruit. It's this green fruit that doesn't grow out here. Um, and they like chop it up and they put it in the raspado and then they put in like grapes and papaya and like different fruits. Did they fruits. have mm, halo halo? Did you tell uh, yeah. Uh, it's like halo halo. It's yeah. just like halo halo, but it's a little bit different. I don't know, it's bomb. And they put a wafer in it and it's so bomb. Um, I miss that. There's so many things I miss. Oh my gosh. I miss Colombia, Colombiana. Um, the soda. Last question. How do you feel being back home? You wanna go for that one? I just, I'm jet lagged like crazy. <laughs> I got back on Sunday. I've been waking up at like 4 p.m. every day. It's like an 18 hour time difference or whatever. So whenever it's daytime here, it's like the middle of the night there. And then I'll... So I just feel like exhausted all the time. So it's kind of hard to process more than that. But um, it feels nice to take hot showers. <laughs> yes. Come on, somebody. Unless you're at the hotel, like. Yeah. It feels Ooh. nice not to get uh, so good. mutilated by mosquitoes every night. Oh, you must sweet blood. Yeah, I got that, that American blood. Can I show I my arms for the camera? Like it's bad. Yeah, they I don't have play. marks all up my legs. Those mosquitoes do not play. Yeah, I should have tried lemon juice. That's what they told me. Like, That's put it on your body. To put it on my skin. Oh. Or aloe vera. They said it for aloe. Yeah, I was just. I was just food for them. Yeah. So. Hopefully you didn't get Zika or something. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, and malaria. <laughs> <laughs> what, malaria. What was your, what's it like being home, Sarah? It's good. 
It's different. It's very different. The values yeah. are so different. My family is on the go all the time. When I was there, we sat and had lunch every meal. So I'm trying to like make more intentional like attempts to like spend time with my family because people really take family so seriously there. Yeah. They like, I don't know, I was telling my cousin like you don't think about it this way but the way they see it is like you're born with a community. Like God gives you this gift of community when you're born. But in America we're like here's just these people that are around and there's my community out there. Like I want to make friends and make my own life out there but like I was telling my cousin, it's like the, it's, we don't take it for granted, we take it so for granted that we have like a community that we're born into. We're born into parents and no matter how they are, like, God gave us that. Like, we don't have to make them like us. Like, they gave, you know, it's weird to think about, but, because we don't think about it like that. So just like, good word. <laughs> such as like, spending time with my family like appreciating my brother my mom my dad like and spending time with them making efforts to like have dinner and like do stuff like we'll do tomorrow night you know um that has been a big change everything's huge in the united states yeah, stuff like it's that. cold here there's just a lot of things that are super different it's different adjusting i miss a lot of things but i'm glad to be home i almost suffocated in my bed because it's so comfy yes <laughs> Guys, I miss having like a mattress pad, a box spring, and a mattress. What were you sleeping on? Were you sleeping on? I was sleeping on a bare mattress, but they're like the dorm style mattresses. Oh, I don't all know the what classic kind. stuff. No, I, just, I don't know, normal mattress. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, say say goodbye in, in Tagalog, or I don't know what you were learning out there, Ilocano or whatever. Was it, no, it was uh, Tagalog. Yeah. Tagalog? Yeah. Oh, say goodbye. Like, say goodbye. Do it. Okay. Inga. See, Take care. I can't say it in one sentence. They okay, always go say, say it in your whole sentence. Uh, okay, they say, Cuidate, al, me alegra verte, um, que estés bien, y chao. I will say this though, the last thing. Looking at America from the outside on social media, y'all are weird. <laughs> like, <laughs> What was that? What was the gorilla's name? Her, what was it? Harambe. With that and were like Were you guys the were there when that happened? Yes. I think and like the clown thing, like. This is weird. Y'all are weird. <laughs> are we weird? We're weird. We're yeah. weird. We're <laughs> weird. Wow. Like, share, and subscribe to this video. <laughs> like, Do share, it. and subscribe Do it. to this channel. Um, again, this is another episode of oh, Life man. I Live Now with Pastor Anthony.